Hello and welcome to this video where I will be roasting myself over how much I messed up with the making of said video or you know yeah I thought I would film myself making the sketchbook and thought to myself this is gonna be great I ain't gonna mess up but of course I messed up because I forgot or rather my brain didn't think to check what quality I had set before I started filming. I forgot to check that the right quality on my phone which I was filming with Yeah, it, I just simply messed up the setting or the quality settings or whatever you would call it. I don't know the technical term for it because I'm a noob and I'm new to well, I'm not near. I'm not really new to it. I used um oh, I'm just very slow when it comes to learning certain things. And yeah, you can clearly see that the quality of this video is shitty as heck. I wish it hadn't, you know, turned out looking this bad. Originally it wasn't this bad, but then I had to edit it. And the way I had to edit it made the quality even worse. So yeah, this is what I'm stuck with. So enjoy this uh, very blurry footage of me stitching together a text block <laughs> because I think that's what it's called in the sketchbook binding community or sketchbook making community and I will um, either put a link somewhere in the video to the yeah, to the to, to, to the tutorial I can't even freaking speak I guess to the tutorial that I used for the stitching that I'm showing in this video right here yeah <laughs> the stitching took uh, took took uh, quite some time to do but uh, it it was worth it because it's gonna be more durable than to then the other way I tried to make a sketchbook was not the best way. Basically I found a tutorial <laughs> that said you could use hot glue from a hot glue gun or glue that you use for a hot glue gun. You know what I mean? To basically use as the glue for the books, the book, <laughs> the book spine, the um, the part where you bind, is to glue all the pages together, basically. And uh, at first, I thought it was perfect. You know, I thought it was gonna work. And uh, then I realized after I drawn, <laughs> used the sketchbook quite a bit, it started. It started to fall apart, so uh, my plan is to just basically rip all the pages apart. Because I would rather do that than have a ragdoll of a sketchbook. It's just... <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess of a sketchbook, I'll tell you that. And I probably will not edit that footage because I did record that the making of that sketchbook and it's just so sad <laughs> to think that that was gonna be a good video you know and then I realized that uh, no there's no point in sharing it because the sketchbook it ended up falling apart anyways so yeah that was just a waste of uh, a waste of time Although I did learn, learn from it, I guess. So there's that. 
here um basically the this thing I put put the uh, put all the papers or uh, put all all the stitched pages in is um is a homemade really shitty book press which isn't the best to actually to use as a book a, a legitimate book press to press a book but it was good enough to hold the book in place so I could pencil on um, smear on that glue is to make the spine a little bit sturdier and here I added uh, this uh, synthetic uh, netting is to reinforce the strength the strength of the spine of the book the sketchbook which I think is gonna be helping the to uh, make the sketchbook last longer I don't know that much about uh, sketchbook making uh, not sketchbook making I mean book binding uh, yeah, just <laughs> click the link to the tutorial that I used for the stitching, and then I probably might link another video about the rest of the making of a book. Of a book. <laughs> How to make a book, I mean. Uh, yeah. And here I'm just trimming the, uh, the the stuff that was that I didn't glue down. Obviously, is to make it a little bit more neat looking, neater, with some uh, nail scissors or something. Because uh, good for when you want to get get the um, when you have to cut. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Sorry for my really uh, inconsistent commentary. Inconsistent? I don't know. Sorry for my very messy commentary. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, here I'm painstakingly cutting off the uneven edges of the book with a scalpel, I think it's called in English. English is not my first language, so I do apologize for if I um, end up messing up some wordings by the way I try to yeah, my brain stopped working again uh, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would uh, rather have a proper guillotine for cutting paper that is made for cutting uh, book edges because that was painful to do. <laughs> it took so long and I didn't even get it perfectly smooth. Like, it's. It, it, uh, I didn't end up getting the perfect book edge that I wanted, so I had to sand the book edges with sandpaper, and even that didn't smooth out the, all of the mistakes that I made with the with the scalpel, with the with the blade. And here, uh, I don't know why I decided to do this, but I guess I saw this, or a similar thing to this, in some tutorial that I watched, so I decided, uh, yeah, I need to do that to strengthen the book, the, the spine of the book. But I'm pretty sure I didn't have to do that, to do this step. I think the book would have been fine if I hadn't done this step. Because this is just kind of a waste of, of uh, time, I think. If I'm going to be honest. 
Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it will make the book last longer. Who knows? I don't because I'm a noob. I'm a beginner. I don't know much about the whole... As I said, uh, do not take this video as a tutorial because I've cut out so much, uh, quite a lot of the process of the making of the sketchbook and the footage is quite blurry so you might not be able to fully tell what I'm, well, especially when I was stitching, that was probably the only part where you wouldn't be able to fully tell how I was doing it. But yeah, you don't use this video as a tutorial because it's awful. <laughs> it's not a good uh, a good video for. Um, it's an it's not tutorial material, tutorial quality. I mean. All right, and here I started to work on the cover for the sketchbook. What's gonna be the outside? You know, and I ended up finding this. Uh, old piece of leather that I found in my attic. Attic? Attic? Yeah, attic, I think. Uh, which I thought would be perfect for the cover. And I'm just gluing... Found some uh, thicker... I don't know what it's called. Some thicker... Uh, I don't know what it's called, those boards that I glued, uh, glued to the leather, yeah. Uh, I had some of that material laying around so I just cut out two pieces for just to make uh, the sketchbook a bit sturdier, some uh, a protected cover. Make it a bit sturdier, more rigid. I'm really struggling with the with the commentary. <laughs> I do apologize. And yeah, I, I'm just trimming off the edges here so I can glue them down more neatly easier so I don't have a thingy sticking out. We at the book ed at the book edges. Yeah, I wonder what kind of video I'm gonna make next. Hopefully, <laughs> I won't mess up as badly as I did with this video uh, with making of the next video that uh, I do. I have no clue what that video will be about. But hopefully, as I said already, the quality will be better in that video. In the future, in the, in, yeah, in a, in the future video. Let's see whatever that will be about. Uh, originally, originally, this footage that I filmed of the making of this book, sketchbook was like I think almost six hours so yeah it was quite uh, quite the cutting down process when I edited the, edited the footage I had to cut a lot of things and speed up the footage as you can tell I do apologize if it's very I don't know, annoying to watch all the fast movements because I, I just didn't have much of a choice to either I could speed it up or it would be a way too long of a video that probably no one would want to watch so I had to speed up the footage just to make the video a little shorter and I, as I said had to cut out a lot of stuff Well, I think the the speed, the up speeding, up speeding, <laughs> the speeding up of the footage uh, made the video 
quite... Well, that's what made the video way shorter, obviously. But I think after I had speed up the video quite a bit, it was still like an hour. So that's when I decided I gotta cut some stuff. So yeah, that's how I ended up with um, 20 something uh, minute video. It was, uh, it was quite challenging because I'm not good at editing. I don't really enjoy editing either. I, f I find it quite boring. <laughs> But I, I, I do get that I, it has to be done, otherwise I'm just gonna have a six hour long video that, I, that no one's gonna watch. <laughs> because uh, who has the time to watch that? Who has the time to watch a six hours long video? No one. I certainly wouldn't watch that. I would get bored. It's... I wouldn't even last that thing like I don't even think I would last an hour into that video because I would just get so sick of it <laughs> I would be like where's the end why is this video so long <laughs> and here yeah I'm just using some um, and now uh, it's some very non-sharp knife and uh, I don't know what that other thing is to uh, press down the edges to make uh, the glue stick a little bit easier and make uh, make the surface uh, as flat as possible on the edges which uh, will glue down there and it's proceeding to do the rest with the, the other pay with the other edges edges fl flaps with the other <laughs> leather flaps I should call them flaps because that's what they are the flaps yeah I probably should have cut out more of this footage because I'm starting to run out of things to say at this point I should have made this video like 15 minutes long but no I just couldn't make it I, I, I just couldn't manage to make it 15 minutes because I got tired of uh, editing <laughs> of uh, cutting down the footage so yeah that's uh, that's why it is the length that it's but hopefully it's not too long for Whoever ends up watching this, whoever you are that decided to click on, click on to this video, and I, uh, <laughs> if you manage to sit through the whole thing, I do, do very much appreciate that fact that you managed to watch the whole thing because it's a. Uh, <laughs> It is not the best video. I will be brutally honest about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, I. It was quite fun, the process of learning how to make a sketchbook. And uh, at times it was quite frustrating, especially when I had to. Or at the stitching of the pages, stitching together the pages part. That was quite frustrating. Because it took quite time. Or it did. It, it didn't take forever, but it was. Uh, it, it took some time. I sure did. Uh, yeah. And, uh. I d d <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words. Or what I'm trying to say, uh, I did uh, decide to paint a cover for the sketchbook, which I will make a separate video for. Yeah, I guess that will be will be my next video. So yeah, uh, 
didn't think about that before when I talked about what my next video was gonna be about. My brain can be a bit of a mess sometimes. <laughs> oh yes. So yeah, uh, I just ended up deciding to paint the cover with some acrylic paints, and that will be yeah the next video. I'm just repeating myself at this point. More, um, more gluing, <laughs> more gluing, lots of gluing. I got glue, or oh, here I started, started to paint it black, or the cover black because I did not want the sketchbook to be brown. I'm not the biggest fan of the color brown or any shade shade of brown in general. My favorite color is, or I have two favorite colors, and um, I know black is not technically a color, but to me, to me, it is a color. So it's black and blue. Those are my favorite colors. And yay, we finally reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And see you in the next one. Bye.